The Nagels have been farming in Moss Bank, Saskatchewan for more than 100 years. We started growing wheat and we're still growing wheat today. We've diversified into growing barley and durum. We grow chickpeas, lentils, flax and canola. And we're having a lot of fun doing it. My husband David and I have moved back home to our hometown of Moss Bank and this is our livelihood. This is, we're here raising our two daughters and we're having a lot of fun farming. I think when a lot of people envision a farmer, they're still picturing that old man wearing coveralls and carrying a pitchfork, standing in the field, maybe even with a horse and a plow in the background. And that's really unlike how farming is today. We've modernized, we've advanced, and I dare say that agriculture might be one of the most technologically advanced industries out there. Multitasking might be a bit of an understatement when it comes to running a farm operation. During the busy season, like harvest, you'll find me in the kitchen making the meals and taking them out to the harvest crew. I also have to make sure I have a lot of time for the office. You know, the business aspect of running a farm operation, all the invoicing, the contracting, the employee payrolls, all of that has to happen on a daily basis. And in the winter months, when I'm afforded a little more time, I like to, to work on some agricultural policy initiatives. I sit on a number of boards that aim to promote positive changes in the industry. Now down here on the farm, we certainly notice the benefits of pesticides and plant biotechnology. We're able to increase our yield, which is important for our business, and we're also able to have healthier, viable plants at the end of the day. If we just look at herbicide-tolerant canola as an example, we've been able to increase our yields by up to by 20% and, and even doubled our yield. And so when a producer can produce more crop off of the same piece of land, everybody wins and we're more environmentally friendly. We have less fuel consumption. We're able to have less water consumption. We're reducing our soil erosion and we're reducing our wind erosion. So again, the use of, of pesticides and plant biotechnology is so important for us here on the farm. An agricultural pesticide is a very specific treatment that a farmer will use to address a very specific concern. So we'll spray a herbicide, for example, for a specific weed pressure. We'll spray an insecticide for a specific insect pressure. And we'll spray you know, another pesticide for a specific disease application. Producers use pesticides to address a specific concern. So just like you wouldn't take medicine if you're not sick, a producer isn't going to treat his field unless there's a specific concern that we have to address. The benefits of pesticides are vast, both for the producer and for the consumer. So the average consumer would notice a difference on their grocery bill because of the use of pesticides and plant biotechnology. For example, we've been able to reduce the average family's grocery bill by more than $4,000, which is significant. I'm a farmer, that's my profession. You know, we're in this farm as a business, but I'm also a mom and I'm feeding my kids the same crops that we grow. So it's really important for me to understand the regulations behind some of the products that we use. And pesticides, as an example, are some of the most highly stringently regulated products in our industry. They go through hundreds of scientific reviews. And I feel comfortable knowing that my children are eating this crop. And I feel really comfortable and confident knowing that Canadians and people around the world are eating the food that we're growing with the use of pesticides and plant biotechnology. To find out more about the exciting advancements in Canadian agriculture, go to betterlivingtv.ca forward slash health.